Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to all my students. Today, you will be studied about topic number 3 which is bending and shear stress. Okay, in this topic, you will be covered about statically determined beam and flagella formula. Before we start the class, students should know about the learning outcome for this topic. At the end of this topic, the student should be able to determine the internal moment at a section of beam and should be able to determine the stress in the beam member caused by bending. Okay, for the introduction, beam is a long and thin structure that is responsible to transfer the transverse load. When the beam is statically determined, the external and internal forces of the beam can be analyzed during the statics. Okay, uh, this is the type of beam with different material that usually used in construction. Okay, which are reinforced concrete beam okay this one is reinforced concrete beam second is steel beam and then last is member beam beam is responsible to transfer the transverse load the beam will be deflected in the direction of the load okay when a pilot there are three reaction will be appear which are reaction at the support second is shear force vf and last is bending moment there are five of beam that you must know first is cantilever beam second is sim simply supported beam Third is overhanging beam, fourth is continuous beam, and last is fixed or rigid beam. This is the types of support which are roller support, uh, pin support, and fixed support. Okay, for the roller support, the reaction is at the one direction only and perpendicular to the surface of the roller. And then for the pin support, there are two reaction which are the horizontal direction and vertical direction. This one is uh, vertical and then this one is horizontal. Okay, for the fixed support, the reaction is same with pin support uh, but it has extra reaction which is moment. For the joint, you must remember there are three types of joints. There are rigid joints. Second is cable joints and last is hinge joint okay for the type of load there are three type of load that you must remember which are first is point load or concentrated load unit is kilonewton or newton and the second is uniformly distribution load or udl Unit is kilonewton per meter, and then last is varying linearly distribution load, such as triangle load. Unit is kilonewton per meter. When a beam is subjected to loads and therefore bending moment, it will deform. If you can see, figure A is a uh, original beam. This one is figure A. This one is original beam. And then after apply load to this beam, the beam will 
be deformed and produce compression stress and tension stress to the beam which is shown in figure B. Cross section of a straight beam remain plain when the beam deformed due to bending. There will be tensile stress on one side and compressive stress on the other side. Okay, this one figure, this one is before deformation, which is before apply the load. And then this one is after deform. You can see this, the horizontal lines become curved but the vertical line remain straight okay so you must remember longitud longitudinal strain varies linearly from zero at the natural axis hook law apply when material is homogeneous okay then the third is Natural axis pass through the centroid of the cross-sectional area for linear elastic material. This element is shown in profile view in the undeformed and deformed position. Okay, this one is undeformed position and then this one is deformed position. Okay, delta S located at the arbitrary distance y above the natural surface will contract and become delta s prime after deformation okay the normal strain formula along delta s is strain equals to limit delta s equals to 0 delta s prime minus delta s divided by delta s Before deformation, delta S equals to delta X. But after deformation, delta S equals to delta X equals to rho time delta theta since delta X has radius of curvature rho. And then delta S prime equals to rho minus Y time by delta theta since delta x has radius of curvature rho minus y so you can substitute this equation into the normal uh, normal strain formula along delta s so the equation become delta become strain equals to limit delta theta equals to 0 rho minus y time by delta theta minus rho time delta theta divided by delta theta time rho ok or you can simplify this equation into strain equals to negative y divided by rho since 1 of 1 per rho is constant at x ok so uh, since strain maximum equals to c over p so that strain over strain divided by uh, maximum strain equals to negative y per rho divided by c per rho so that strain equals to negative y over c time by strain maximum the stress in the beam can be determined from the requirement that the resultant internal moment m must be equal to moment produced by the stress distribution about natural axis this one is the formula for pressure formula okay which is normal stress equals to negative my divided by i and then for the stress maximum equals to my max or M mc divided by i okay for the uh, derivation for, uh, for the fragile formula the assumption that uh, material behave in the linear elastic manner 
so that hook law applies hook law applies uh, it is uh, stress equals to modulus of elasticity divided uh, time by strain okay from uh, this equation okay you can derive from uh, this uh, equation until you can get uh, stress maximum equals to mc divided by i and then the normal, st normal stress equals to negative my divided by i that's all for for this uh, chapter thank you so much assalamualaikum